Chris Shelley's Lenny Supal. Now, Lenny, where does this investigation stand tonight? Good afternoon. Right now, detectives are gathering evidence and conducting interviews, but at this point, no arrest has been made in the case. At the same time, questions about mall security growing louder. Many shoppers say they weren't even notified there was a shooter on site. Security at the Citrus Park Town Center Mall in question after 16-year-old Peter Hyman Jr. was shot and killed Saturday night. Three days later, the shoppers still searching for answers. There was no text message, there was no alarm, nothing. So people, some people were just doing, you know, shopping as normal, and other people were locked down in the stores. Amanda Siftar was shopping with her three kids at Citrus Park, but around 7.15, the night took a violent and deadly turn. And my ring app came up, and it said active shooter at the mall. She says that was her only notification about the shooting, calling the communication inside the mall sporadic and unclear. Her family quickly hiding in a storage area to stay safe. So we weren't sure if they were still at the mall, through the mall, outside the mall. We had no idea what was going on. Choppers at the mall would appreciate is if there is a shooting um, of some sort or a criminal on the loose, um, in our area to be notified of such. I get a phone call from my daughter that oh my son had been shot. By the time Bianca Cooper was notified, it was too late. Her son, an honor student at Jefferson High School, died at the hospital. Right now, detectives interviewing multiple persons of interest. And I hope that we could so we can get justice for him because no parent should ever has to bury their child. No parent should have to. Now a donation page has been set up for the family. As for mall security, we reached out to officials but have not heard back. But we have noticed a significant increase in the number of patrols on site. Paola? It'll be really interesting to see what they have to say, Lenny. And I understand two people were detained Saturday night. Where does that situation stand right now? Those two people were brought in for questioning yes, Saturday night, but they have been released. They are not related to the case, as we learned from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office this afternoon, but they are still asking anyone with information to give them a call. Reporting live in Hillsborough County, Lenny Sioux Hall, 8 on your side. Lenny, thanks so much.